for 2019, CFA Level 2 now has 17 study sessions with 51 readings, which is one reading lower than in 2018. There were a total of 4 readings added and 5 readings removed. In terms of the exam area weights, for ethics it maintains at 10 to 15 percent. Quants and Econs maintains at 5 to 10 percent each. And uh, just as a reminder, every 5 percent represents one item set, and every item set would have six MCQs. Now, financial reporting analysis has been reduced to 10 to 15 percent, which is a minimum of two sets, item sets, and three uh, to a maximum of three item sets. Corporate finance has been reduced to 5 to 10 percent. Equity investment is now 10 to 15 percent, similar to financial reporting and analysis. Fixed income has been reduced to 10 to 15 percent. Derivatives, 5 to 10 percent. Alternative investments, 5 to 10 percent. This has not changed. And for portfolio management, it's up to 5 to, 10, uh, 5 to 15 percent. For ethics, they have removed the reading on research objectivity standards and also the readings on uh, the three cases on Glenarm Company, Present Partners and Super Selection, and they've added a new reading on application of the code and standards. For QM, they have added the reading, a new reading on FinTech in Investment Management, and for the topic on multiple regression and issues in regression analysis, they have included a new section on Machine Learning. For financial reporting and analysis, they've added a new reading on analysis of uh, financial institutions. And for fixed income, they have uh, replaced the, the reading on credit analysis models with uh, a new reading with the same title but by different authors, uh, which is uh, Adams and uh, Smith. So that concludes the changes for the CFA Level 2 syllabus for 2019.